Janet Farrell, who's the Director of Digital Services at the RDW Group, and Michael Masur, who is the Public Relations Director at the RDW Group. And there's a lot in the news right now with COVID-19 or the coronavirus, and we want to talk about that and, and that you are a communications, a public relations company. Uh, but RDW has got a long history uh, in Worcester, and uh, maybe you could talk a little bit about that. Sure, yeah. So, um, you know, going back to, to our company's founders, uh, you know, a Worcester uh, area guy, Assumption grad. Um, so obviously we have some roots there going back, uh, you know, a number of years. Um, and our, our current uh, creative director is also a Worcester native, ran a very successful uh, advertising agency here in Worcester for a number of years, is now part of RDW Group and has been for some time. Uh, and we've, you know, we've had a physical presence here in Worcester for a long time. Um, that, that changed a couple years back, but, you know, uh, we never have stopped doing work here in Worcester. We still work with a number of clients here in Worcester. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the city's really growing. You know that, yeah, I have to yeah, tell you that. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we're at that point now where it's, you know, maybe we're, we should explore reestablishing a physical presence here in Worcester, um, you know, so we can continue to service our clients uh, and, and, uh, uh, and, and the city as it grows. Yeah, and broad array, broad array of clients, uh, mm -hmm. David Clark, Reliant Medical Group, uh, you know, so Higgins Armory, yeah. uh, Worcester Art Museum, uh, uh, you know, uh, WPI, Children's Friend, you know, a lot, lot of groups, businesses or uh, educational institutions and nonprofits. So, yeah, yeah, it really runs the gamut. Um, and again, you know, all, over all those years, we've had the opportunity to work with with all those clients and then some. And as I said, we still continue to do a lot of work here in Worcester. Um, uh, you mentioned Reliant Medical Group. We've worked with them for a number of years. Uh, Reliant Foundation, which was part of the medical group yep. at one time, is now an ind independent charity. Uh, in fact, uh, has, uh, has worked with the Costa Project. I know you yep. had Rob on. Um, and and speaking project. of connections, uh, Al Golachensky and Nothing Bunt Cake provided, donated the cakes for the, the uh, Casa Projects Gala the other night. I should have mentioned that. That's so right. it all kind of comes That's the way the community should work, yeah. just yeah. like that. So, yeah, we're very proud of, of the history we have here in Worcester. So, Jan, it, it, it's communications has dramatically changed from when RDW started. I mean, there's this whole new world, which you're in charge of and work with companies around digital communication. What is that involved, and how do you advise a client? I, I, digital communications is really a part of, it should be a part of really everyone's presence at this point. I mean, their website, your website is basically your storefront now, whether mm -hmm. you have a physical storefront or not. Um, so it's really about uh, having an opportunity to have all of your channels really work together for you, um, using your social media channels to really be an extension of your brand. It's not kind of the siloed channel. Um, and really using your digital communication to build a relationship with your customers and your, and your consumer base. It, it's a really important way to kind of take um, less about just being, you know, who you are as a brand and tell them about you and educate um, consumers about the brands that you, you have and the products that you, you provide. It's, it's a really great opportunity for brands to, um, to build a connection. And, and brand is important. Uh, and, and people, I think, depending on where, what generation they're from, you know, may, may be dismissive of, of kind of what is digital media made and social media. But, uh, it, you know, it's, it's as important as a, a logo or a sign or a design. I mean, this is how you people perceive your company and even within the social media digital communications some generations are more inclined to use one uh, form of, of social media or digital communication as to another and you can work w with the company in thinking about how to do that who they want to hit Absolutely. It's really important to kind of start with understanding what a company's goal is, understanding who their target consumer is, who is the customers that you're trying to reach. Um, and then we do a lot of research on our end to understand those consumers, understand how they use media, what the media channels are they use, and then really work to create a customized communication plan to understand, you know, how to get your message across in each of those different channels. Because it really is, it, it's a different way for each channel depending on kind of what your goals and objectives are. So it's a, it's a art and a science. Right, right. And, and Janet, use the word communications plan and you need a communications plan to educate people what your business does the different elements of it different populations uh, but in you know, any company or organization also needs to think about uh, crisis communications things happen uh, at businesses and communities right now we are dealing with a international issue with coronavirus and, and COVID-19 and so businesses large and small are trying to determine how to communicate to customers to mm -hmm. employees you know, right now, Mike, we got no. you know a lot going on. What, what, how how would you talk to your clients now about you know events that are unfolding as we speak? Yeah, so they're unfolding very rapidly, obviously. Um, and and you know, one of the things that we always impress upon our clients is to have a, a crisis communications plan in place, right? And to try and 
not just put the plan in place, but to practice the plan as often as you can. And, and that's much easier said than done in a lot of cases. Um, and, and while we can never you know, fully predict what the crisis may be uh, that the organization could encounter, um, there are a lot of c common denominators you can plan for. Um, and so I'm not sure anyone saw this COVID-19 right. crisis coming, um, at least you know, not as of a couple months ago. Um, but you know, to, to make sure that um, you're planning, um, that you're having the right conversations, that you're communicating with your employees, obviously, so they know you're on as an organization, they know what, uh, what the organization is comfortable with them doing, whether it's working remotely, um, you know, taking paid time off, what, what have you. Um, and then obviously, you know, making sure you have clear and consistent communications with your, your audiences, um, you know, whether that's a customer, a member, what have you. So they know where you're at um, and, and, um, and how they can interact with your organization uh, given the current climate. And, and that's why a, a business like IDW Group is, is really important. You know, if, if you're Al, you know, in, in, in your small business working on cakes and, and, and meeting customers' needs, mm -hmm. uh, if you're a nonprofit like Rob, who we had on earlier, who's focused on, you know, kids and training, if you're a law office, if you're a manufacturer, you, that's your kind of core mission. You may not have the expertise in crisis communications or digital media, and that's why you provide an opportunity to engage with companies at different levels to, to kind of take on and, and, and play that role or assist them. Yeah, exactly. You know, obviously our role is to not just craft the words, but to help them think about it big picture, right? Um, who do we have to talk to? What do we have to say? Um, you know, what are your big picture plans? And then we, you know, get down to sort of the, the tactical level and figure out, you know, literally the words and how do we want to disseminate those words to their, to their target audiences. You know, I'm sure we're all in the same boat, but I can't tell you how many emails I've gotten from, you know, CEOs of major corporations, you know, uh, form emails, you know, from, from major retailers about the steps they're taking to mm -hmm. protect their employees, to protect their customers, to, to keep their stores safe and clean. Um, so this, you know, this has hit everybody, yeah, uh, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and so there's a need to, to make sure that communications are clear and consistent. So Janet, uh, if, if people want to learn about uh, RDW and the various uh, social media, how can they get in touch or l learn more about RDW Group? Um, RDWgroup.com, check us out, our social media channels. Um, we have a lot of properties. You can see examples of kind of some of the work we do, and I think it's really important to know that we kind of work um, with each company at their level. You know, we, it doesn't have to be a full service engagement. We can kind of start small and build, and we really want to customize and work with you to understand what your goals are and how we can help. Great.